we're here in a very special place of history when it comes to our welfare society. It's linked to the colony van de Wildadigheid or the colony of benevolence. In 1818, after the country of the Netherlands and Belgium ended up in extreme poverty, one person, Johannes van den Bos, saw all the poverty and he wanted to find a solution for it. They came here to the northeast of the Netherlands, bought a lot of land and started a special project where they put people in different houses where they had to farm the land and earn their keep. The idea was that the whole community had to be self-sustainable. The colony of benevolence provided the house, they provided the animals, the field to work on. It's the beginning of the idea of a welfare society which we live in today, where if you lose your job, the society takes care of you. If you get sick, society takes care of you. That idea of living started here in Frederiksort. Okay, so to understand everything a little bit better, how the colony van Wildadigheid looked like back in the day, we're doing a little tour with the Colony Express. For the time, these houses were considered a luxury for poor people that moved here. A lot of people felt honored that they could leave poverty, live in a house with their family. The better they worked on the land, the better their yield. Very, very, very cool. Today, where the houses used to be, they're, they're building new houses that are fully sustainable. Off the grid, they produce their own energy, people still live here today. We're here at the farm Hoeve Koning Willem III. They decided to have a bigger farmland and then have the people from the houses that were around to come work with the experienced farmer and actually have a bigger yield. It's also the place where we're staying this evening. It's a very mindful place where they want to treat the animals with a lot of respect and care. They have water beds for the cows, they have ventilators in the farm. The family here, they try together with the community to work with local produce. We can only cheer for a project like that and let's uh, just support that and each other. Automatic milking machine, the cow walks in by herself, wanting to get milk. Uh, so that one is just waiting in line. <laughs> Whoa! It has all the nipples. <laughs> 